Fantastic, and welcome to day 13 of the June Drawing Bonanza, where we are, where we are drawing uh, something every single day. I am posting a video uh, throughout the month of June, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Woo! This month, or today, not this month, well, today, we are drawing a confused seashell. Uh-huh. So yeah, grab something to draw with and something to draw on. And let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, welcome back to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. We are going to be drawing day 13's design. Today we're doing a seashell for the June Drawing Bonanza, where we show up every single day to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel, subscribe, like the videos, and draw as part of a personal challenge to draw for every single day of the month of June. So if you're just joining me, we are doing a video every single day. I'm dropping a new video to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel for the whole month of June to keep you drawing, to have, give you a summer activity, and to get into the summer vibes, because they're all June-themed drawings. And then also, I'm gonna help you bring your drawing skills and grow them exponentially. So here we go, we're going to be doing a seashell. My lovely friend, it's gonna be super cute. All right, at the bottom, draw a little wavy line, just like that. From there, we're gonna do nice big wavy lines up and over, and connect. We'll draw some nice little lines. And draw some around the edges. So we got a nice lovely shell shape. All right, let's give it a face. Let's make it a confused shell. It's very confused. So we're gonna draw some question marks for its eyes today. Why not? So we're gonna draw the two question marks first and then we're gonna to thicken them up so they stand out as being the eyes. So weird, right? We're trying some different things in this challenge because we're trying to improve our you know, drawing skills, we're getting outside our comfort zone. We don't want to draw the same thing or in the same style every single day. So we're trying something new. The more we draw, the better we get. What does a confused mouth look like? Eh, let's give it some zigzags. I'm so confused, guys. Maybe it like woke up and all its friends like disappeared and it's like, uh, I don't know what's going on right now, but it's weird. Okay, and we'll maybe add some sand around it. Can add some coral chilling out in the distance here. Coral's all nice and bumpy, so we're gonna add that. Maybe there's some seaweed floating way out in the distance here. Obviously add some sound effects. Otherwise, hey, it's boring. Sound effects are important. Boom! Look at that. All right, after that, we gotta add some color so grab your favorite coloring medium and colors and give it some artist flavor remember you can go ahead and add anything else that you would like to to this design and of course when you're done make sure that you take a snapshot upload it to your favorite social media it doesn't matter what it is i'm everywhere guys seriously seriously everywhere so make sure you snap a pic snap a pic pic and then take me at mizartastic or use the hashtag, hashtag MsArtastic, if you would rather do that, it's MsArtastic. And that way I can see your drawings. And, and of course, um, let me know if you are participating in this drawing challenge. Yeah, super nice. Also, Artist Loft and Sharpie, I just want you to know, I'm pretty disappointed, one, with your prices lately, and number two, with the quality, because I just bought these two days ago, 
two days ago. So your quality. Now let's artist loft. You have some suggestions for me. I'm placing you on my blacklist. You were on my good list because the price was okay, but not anymore. So if anybody has a suggestion for a brand of alcohol-based markers, alcohol-based markers. I've used Winsor Newton, but the prices are pretty expensive, but not anymore compared to Ursloft. Although I haven't heard to come by. Anyways, if you have an idea, let me know. And Sharpie, I'm looking at you too. Your chisel tips don't go as far as they used to. Making me sad, Sharpie, making me sad. Look at this, every single one. I've lit These are all brand new out here around my table. shade my designs with gray but because all my grays are artist lofts and they're not doing so hot I'm shading this guy with purple today because you don't have to shade with gray you can shade with lots of things like blue and well this is already purple so I'm gonna shade with a darker value of purple that's a cool thing about art you can do all kinds of things there's no one way to do anything there isn't Artist loft lets you down. You gotta figure out a different way to get to your end result. Especially when Michaels is jacking the price up to $5.99 Canadian. Not cool, Michaels. Not cool. Michaels Canada, disappointed. All right, I need some shading on the ground here. Let's see which artist loft is still working. So far, all my brand new ones are not so great. I'll try this guy. Once you're done coloring in your shell, your design is done. And that is it for design number 13. Yeah, a confused seashell. Tomorrow we are doing a beach ball, but it's gonna be weird. So make sure you show up to see what happens. And I will see you tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a like, share it, and boom. I'll see you in day 14. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.